Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Since last time, we basically accused old hag back there as being the criminal. But we said I think I've already asked all my questions, so I guess we will take a break. Your Honor, we have learned there were other at the Global Studios on the in question. The director and the producer and there are some big wigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hope that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. Hey, don't be so mad, Edgeworth. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings and the trial of Mr. Will Powers. This is all. The court is adjourned. Woo! Court has been adjourned, son. October 18, 104 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number three. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, uh, really? It's nothing. Grin. Or... Oh, or should I... We'll be going down the, to the studio to do some more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So, now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick... Have we figured out just who it is was in the steel costume? Could it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, no. Look, I was just buying bad time back here. Someone had to be bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Miss Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kinda sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winding any points in there with or without my accusations. Okay. Let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Sniff. To be continued. Save. Save clear data. Save. Save clear stage data up to this point. Yes. We'll continue, actually. I actually ran out of electricity in my house. The power just went out. I'm not sure what happened. I looked out the window and all my neighbors are outside with their hands in the air, so I don't think it's us, I think it's just our apartment complex. With that being said, I got 97% left on my laptop, and hopefully we can record some without destroying my laptop completely. So hopefully we can finish this next investigation and continue. With that being said, let's hurry, October 18, Ryan Company Law Offices, before you know electricity. Whew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Oh, for me, I've been working hard. Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess. That really depends on the people who we found out about today. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's go to the studios. Alright, let's move, girl. Oh, I kinda like the song, though. Okay. That's me getting away into the music and anime. So, October 18th, 2 16 p.m. Global Studios Main Gate. No one's here. Right. Now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the garden station. Look, she left her donuts. What? I wasn't going to eat them. Uh, okay, let's examine. Where are those donuts, you see, girl? The security guard station. Miss Oldbag must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on the desk there. Alright, let's uh not examine. I think it's the same thing. I just thought there's gonna be... Move. Hey, he's making bird noises. You guys notice that? Outside, why? the bird noises are really going crazy on me. It's kind of strange to me. October 18th, Studio One entrance. Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck and paperwork after the commotion of today's trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio Two we heard about in the trial today? It was down the path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's the way they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Alright. Do I have to examine it? I'm Bush. Oh no. No, I don't want to sit. Hey, I'm still young. I'm just tired. Nick, when you start having to say I'm still young, you know it's all over. But I am still young. I'm 24. That's literally just like three years from me. <laughs> IRL. <laughs> so I hope I don't feel old either. I kind of feel young still. Inside studio, outside studio two. Let's go there. 
Oh, geez, it's kind of like not as nice. The studio door. This is Studio 2? I thought so. It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. It looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? I guess we can examine. What the heck is the bird noise? Is this really making me... Huh? What is this? This? There's a big tube printed there. Probably because this is Studio 2. Probably. Though it doesn't look anything like a studio. Maybe it's like where they pretend to like... Maybe they have like a trailer set up. These looks like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might be as well a junkyard. On a closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is a part of some temporary film set. Okay. Maybe they just turned the second studio into like... Just a place since they're make, not making money. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Yeah, it's pretty pointy. Looks like you can kill someone. No problem. Oh, smug face. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it's been run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? It's evidence. I knew I had to use it sooner or later. But what the heck was that up there? That just like... Was it that yellow thing? Looks like two people wait here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate on steaks too. What is it with the steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Are the ghosts here? Why don't you just talk to um Hammer, the ghost. MC Hammer. An incinerator. Apparently, they're just... They just put one in. Also, it's new. It's already covered in suit. They must not clean it much. Mm, is that it? Alright, let's go... And so, wait, do we have to hit move to go into it? The trailer? Or we can't go into the trailer? Oh, did I even examine the door in the first place? Nick, let's go inside. You think it's okay? Oh, well, it's locked. Oh, shucks. Okay, let's go back. Um, guess outside Studio 1 is all we can do. I don't think there's anything new here. They do, still didn't put the monkey head back, which is a damn shame. Let's go to inside Studio 1, main gate. Outside Studio 2, oh, wait, we're just there. It's inside Studio 1, I don't think, I don't want to go back there yet. It's inside Studio 1, let's see if there's anything new. October 18, Studio 1. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. <sighs> Alright, let's get, not stay here then. Because Maya, she probably sees like a demon in the corner, like, laughing its head off because it's about to break me or something. How frightening is that? So, let's go to the main gate, since that's like, we have no choice. Wait, we did have a choice, didn't we? What the heck am I talking about? Let's go to the train employee place employee area. There it is. October 18, Global Studios employee area. Look, it's that assistant. Hey. Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh. Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh. <laughs> Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that train. You mean that one? Wow, that's a m what a mess. I know. I'm not so good with the handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh. Well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill it in for my old bag. Right. See you later, then. Good luck with your investigation. Uh... Let's look at that. Handiwork. How good is this? So the fanboy they were talking about in this trial today, I think a fanboy could break through that, no problem. He just, like, literally just kicks into it. He came in through that drain, so it seems. I guess they covered up in a hurry. Hey, hey, Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? I don't know, I don't really care, personally. What do you want to get... 
What? You want to get rip the gate off? Great off? Gate off? <laughs> really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious. Uh oh. That kid's gonna kick it up anyways. Whatever. I don't give a crap. Sometimes. Hiya. There. That should make me the kids happy. The things we do. Hiya. Well, really though, I'll just say, hey, I did it. You did a great job fixing it, lady, but I kicked it open because I'm a son of a bitch, so she don't think she did a bad job. It's kind of like looking like a bad guy in order to be a good guy. Um, I don't think there's anything in here. So let's go back. Let's move into the room. Is there something in the room now? In the dressing room? October 18, Globo Studios dressing room. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powell says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was asleep. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh? She's got a point. Uh, I don't think anything's in here. It looks exactly the same. I'm too lazy. Let's go see Penny at the guard station. Maybe she'll be like, hey, I can hack you into the mainframe. Ooh, did I just hit B? Because, you know, Penny knows how to hack into mainframes. Oh, hello! The perfect person I was looking for. Ho oh, ho! You look like a little out of place. It's a close, isn't it? I thought my camel vest might do the trick. Kind of alternative guard fashion thing. Oh, let's talk, Penny. The studios! So how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. They don't want me to disturb me evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over? On them in the employee area? Yeah. Can you believe it? I know, rich Hollywood types eating nothing but steak. Do you get sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. It's because she's an old windbag person. The director, I didn't read the last part, I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio had seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they're trying to protect the director. More of the producer, really. The producer's a real star here. She saved the studio from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Um... Do you have anything to present? Hey, does this not impress you? Wait, what the heck? Powers photo? Question mark. Can I examine stuff? Penny, do you not- do you mind? The computer that runs the studio security cameras, huh? It looks like it's been turned off for the day. Alright. Nothing new. Let's move! Um, we could go to the detention center. Who would be the detention center, though? A windbag lady would be there. I guess we could go ask here. The old bag. Oh, Will Powers is there. He's still in the detention center. Visitor's room. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for that earlier. Not at all. We got lucky, to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. Sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can rely on getting lucky tomorrow. Yes, sniff. Anything new to talk about? The fanboy. Oh shit, it's really got like one minute. Do our fanboys sneak in the studios often? Nah, the secret lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say she was often hanging around? These kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past, she's not looking good. The director, hopefully it doesn't go into like a cutscene or anything. So yes, yes he was. He was the directing how the Steel Samurai and the Eva Maestro should move. What did you tell us before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. Yes, and the new does. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick, here's a newbie lawyer, fresh out the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I see. Sniff, sniff. Whose side is she on, anyways? You are hiding something from us. No, I sure hope not. Alright, cool. We finished in time. Really good time. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Ten seconds left. Woo!